Are you looking for a way to untether yourself from your PC, your Mac, or your Android phone? Well, you might have come to the right place because today I'm going to test out the Ulanzi J12. It comes in this kind of earbud type packaging. It includes not one, but two different battery powered microphones and also the receiver. Everything's rechargeable and can be connected via USB-C. So we're going to test out how it sounds. We're going to test out its range in a household environment. And we're going to see what it sounds like with a little bit of tuning applied to it as well. Let's go. Okay, so this is the Ulanzi J12, exactly how it sounds with zero filters on it. Nothing to correct the way it sounds or add anything like noise uh, suppression or any gates or compressors on it. This is just how it sounds out of the box. Okay, so as you can tell from the initial test with the default settings, it didn't sound too terrible. It's a little bit dead in terms of not a lot of highs, maybe a little bit too mid-heavy. Um, bass, I think, was okay, given we're just looking for spoken voice here. But you can tell uh, I need a little bit, I think, of brightness added to it. So I've done that. I've added three decibels on the high side with the three-band equalizer and OBS. I've taken the mids down also. 3 dBs. You can see that it's on my shirt collar here. It is an omnidirectional microphone, so as long as it's probably within 6, 12 inches from your mouth, you should be okay in terms of audio pickup. It does have that active noise suppression that you could hear. There was no hissing noise or other noise. I'm not in that dead of a room or environment, but it didn't pick up any of that because it's got that active noise suppression in it. One thing I didn't mention when I was holding up the case, it does have USB-C charging at the bottom of it, so you can charge the case, and there's an 800 milliwatt hour battery with the case that will charge the microphones by themselves, basically, as they're sitting in the case, kind of like earbuds typically do. So next, we're going to test out the range of the wireless level ear mics. Okay, so this time I'm going to try it with both my phone and walk as far away from the base station as I can in my house on the same floor. And this is the Elon ZJ12, so let me start my phone recording just through the front-facing camera. There we go, and I'm gonna do it for the first time, walk away. Okay, so still talking. Let's see if the microphone continues to pick up all the way to the other end. I'm um, recording the phone too, so we can compare the audio there also. Okay, so there you have it. That was the Lonzi J12 wireless lavalier microphone. You can tell I didn't really love the sound of it. I did like the active noise suppression that was in there. It only made it about half of its claimed 65 feet of range. That is probably because I have a few walls between me and the 30 or so feet that I made it before the microphone started to cut out. For $40, it still fills a need in terms of having budget wireless lavalier mic and it's still pretty compact in terms of its size so you could probably easily hide it away from view and with a little bit of optimization on the equalization of it it doesn't sound terrible but it doesn't sound great either so hopefully this review helps if you liked it be sure to give me a like otherwise subscribe to my channel for more reviews and other work from home tips thanks for watching we'll see you next time